Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the very popular Genie Motion. Genie Motion is an Android emulator that uses VirtualBox to emulate the Android workspace. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do here is that we're going to um, go into the downloads um, webpage in VirtualBox. This will be in the description. And um, since I'm going to be, uh, since I just recently switched to Linux, I'm going to be using um, Linux. So um, here I'm going to download it for Linux hosts, and I'm using Saucy Salamander Ubuntu uh, with 64-bit. So I'm going to save this into the um, the downloads folder, and we're just going to wait this out. Um, and while we're at this, we're going to go over here, and um, basically G9 Motion is um, designed for developers that want to develop their website, or their um, application, rather. So, um, for your convenience, I actually went ahead and made an account for you guys. So, um, the username is YouTube and the password is YouTube with the same um, capitals and such so we're gonna log in here um, I'm just gonna leave this here cuz I don't know um, and we're gonna go up here to download GNI Motion and GNI Motion has Mac, Windows, or Linux um, so does VirtualBox anyway so you're gonna be able to um, install both of these on Mac um, Windows or Linux, um, and there's extensive um, web pages that tell you how to do this. So I'm gonna just um, for Windows and for Mac, you know, just a little bit more. But for Linux, almost no one does. So here we go: Linux, Ubuntu, Fedora, Red Hat, 64-bit. So I'm going to save this. This is almost done, and this is just starting. So once I do this, I'm going to inst actually install the um, VirtualBox. So um, you have a very handy user guide here in the um, in the web page. So um, once again, I will leave this data in the description. So first, we have to wait for this to finish downloading. So now that it is, we do show in folder here, and we open this, which is going to open up a software center window, which is going to let us install VirtualBox. Now, the reason why I didn't go into the um, software center and um, put VirtualBox in the search bar and such is because the actual website, of course, um, has the most updated version. So, um, we just wait this out a little bit. There we go. Um, a VirtualBox 4.3. Only install this file if you trust the, is the origin. And I do because it's the actual VirtualBox, um, homepage. And then um, now it's installing. I think it's gonna ask for authentication. Authentication. Whatever. Um, it's 153.1 megabytes when installed. So we know that this is gonna take a long time. So, um, I'm going to pause this video, and um, I guess we'll see you once this finishes. Um, there you go. It asked for the, um, to authenticate, so you have to put that there. It was just kind of like processing. Anyway, here we go. We have progress. So, um, I'm going to pause the video, and when, um, when we're done with um, the installing, we'll be back. So here we are, and um, we finished installing. Sorry, we finished installing um, VirtualBox here. It took about three to five minutes, I'm gonna say. So now that this is installed, what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna verify this actually works. And here we go. Oracle VM VirtualBox. I believe VM stands for Virtual Machine, and here we go. So this works. We're going to close this for now because we have to let um, uh, Genie Motion create the virtual machine. So we can go ahead and delete this. Um, 
so then we have to um, do a couple things here. We're done with this, so I'm gonna close it here um, to you know keep a minimal workspace and stuff. So we open up a terminal, and you're gonna write the um, following command: sudo chmod plus x, and then your downloads folder and um what I like to do is I'm gonna rename this so I don't have to type all that in. So I'm just gonna do GNI for GNI motion and then we're gonna go in here and gonna grab the terminal here. Um GNI dot B I N. Uh you put your password and there we go. Um and then we just go um the same thing without the ch mod installing to folder you're gonna um click y and enter um and it found a um it's gonna say it found a valid valid version of virtualbox it's extracting and installation done as you can see it was very quickly done so we can go ahead and exit from this and we can go ahead and delete this and now in the home page, we're gonna maximize this here. In the home page, we go into GNI Motion. We go into GNI Motion, we double click it. You have no virtual device available yet. Do you want to add a new one? Here is where you can um, put your data. Um, here we go. And these are the virtual devices available. So, um, what it's going to do here is I'm going to have to um, pause this again. But anyway, I'm going to um, do the 10.1 inch tablet with Android 4.2.2, which um, is Jelly Bean. So, I'm going to add this. So I'm going to click Add here next it's gonna download the virtual device which is gonna be 205 megabytes so um, I'm going to pause the video yet again and um, we'll be right back okay so we're back here and um, it did the download and then it did an authenticity check or integrity check rather and then it asks if I want to name my new virtual device and I selected yes and I just put Jelly Bean API 17 tablet um, uh, I forgot to tell you guys something do the Google Apps if you want to download applications um, but if you don't I guess you don't have to now once this is here if you press play there will be an error and I'm going to show you the error um, you just click no, and it's going to say that it has a mistake, to my belief. Um, maybe it'll work this time, but, um, most of the times what, okay, yes it did. But what most of the time happens is that, um, it's going to ask you to do it, but I thought, before what I had done is I just, um, started the virtual machine with, um, I just started the virtual machine with the regular, virtual box which actually worked in it kind of like um executed a couple of things and um it did take a long time here so um yeah this is going to take like um I'm going I want to say 2 minutes but for the sake of making this short I'm going to pause it and um I'll see you at the welcome screen and we're at the Android welcome screen congratulations you have just booted up Android on your Linux device. So let's configure this and get to the welcome screen. So um, you're just gonna select the English language because I wanna have an English language. Um, I'm going to have to pause this video yet again to um, enter my Google account credentials. So um, here we are with um I just put it and just click next and it said signing in and just um all this happened in about 30 seconds. I don't want to set up a credit card with Google Wallet, so I'm going to skip that. Um I'm just going to I don't want to uh, restore from the Google account because I've done this um various times before. Um just so I'm just going to keep the tablet backed up with the Google account 
in case I need to do it something on um, Google and location so here's where this comes up this is the GPS tab what the GPS tab does is that you can um, set um, a specific location for your GPS so I'm just gonna um, skip that for, for the moment and I'm just gonna say yes in case I have to test something um, I'm just gonna set Eastern time because that's the time zone I'm in in a second. Um, it's just a sec. Uh, set up complete. Your tablet is set up and ready to use. So I'm just gonna click finish here, and that weird noise. I don't know why that was there. Um, so it says make yourself at home. To see your apps touch the circle, and then it's gonna say to move. Um, okay, that is enough. Um. I'll give you a quick review of GNI Emotion in the future. Well, I'm, that's it. We are successfully in the Android desktop environment. Thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe, the huge, I guess, um, and we'll see you next time.